The Dallas Cowboys did not get off to a very good start on Monday Night Football in Week 3. But as the Cowboys well know, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. And boy, did they finish this one in style. They turned an early deficit into a 28-17 victory, despite the fact that they were absolutely blown off the field for the first 15 minutes of the game. Once the first quarter ended, the Cowboys proceeded to slowly but surely take over. They were helped by two Arizona drives that stalled deep in their own territory allowing Dallas to march down the field for two touchdowns on drives that totaled 79 yards combined. They were helped also by a missed field goal from Cardinals kicker Phil Dawson, who was brought in to fix the kicking game that so plagued Arizona last season. Those few Arizona mistakes were all Doc Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott and company needed to put their stamp on the football game. Doc got off to a slow start but eventually wound up having an three-touchdown evening. Zeke was bottled up for much of the early part of the game, but ripped off runs of 30 yards and 20 yards, and later added a game-sealing touchdown midway through the fourth quarter. Bryce Butler made plays deep down the field. Terrence Williams won his matchup with Justin Bethel. Cole Beasley made a huge play on third down. Ryan Switzer made plays in the return game and the much-maligned Cowboys defense, after a horrid start, stepped up and did its job. Demarcus Lawrence dominated the game, more on that below, but Sean Lee, Jeff Heath, and especially, third-year safety Byron Jones, sophomore defensive tackle Malik Collins, and rookie corner Jordan Lewis all played big roles in the Cowboys slowing down an Arizona offense that looked like it was going to have a field day in the early going. That clamping down, plus a few timely bursts of offensive effectiveness, the ball control Cowboys only had the ball for 23-45, was all Dallas ultimately needed. Here are a few more things to know from the Cowboys 28-17 win. National Anthem Update Players and teams all around the NFL demonstrated in various ways during the National Anthem on Sunday, and to a certain extent that carried over to Monday night. Nobody on either the Cowboys or Cardinals kneeled or sat during the actual singing of the National Anthem by Jordan Sparks, both teams stood locked arm in arm, along with coaches, owners, and executives. Prior to the anthem, however, every member of the Cowboys, along with Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, Jerry Jones Jr., Jason Garrett and the rest of the coaching staff, took a collective knee. A portion of the crowd on hand at University of Phoenix Stadium booed that gesture, but the Cowboys were on their feet by the time the anthem actually started. 